Hey everyone, welcome to part four of my experimental painting inspired by Bette Ridgeway's work. Um, I'm sorry that I rushed this layer and didn't wait for people's input. It's just I'm getting um, really impatient with this painting and I kind of just want to get it done with and over with and back to um, my spin painting and my ribbons and such. Um, just uh, getting back to something that I have a little bit more experience with and feel a little bit more confident with. Not that I ever really sound confident, but I'm definitely more confident with the spin paintings than I am with this particular technique. Um, you know, Bet just, uh, she really makes it look super easy and it is so not easy. I mean, I've, I've been really having a hard time with it and I'm not sure if I'm really digging uh, the results that I'm getting. Um, even though everyone's been super supportive and so nice um, with their feedback, I just, uh, it's not really turning out uh, as I expected. So uh, I'm anxious to get this one done and uh, back to back to the basics, I guess. Um, you'll notice that I spend a lot of time uh, picking at the painting. It's because... Um, I really need to to strain the flow trawl. Um, I guess when you really thin the paints, uh, the lumps in the flow trawl really become apparent because I've never noticed lumps in flow trawl before I started doing this technique. So, su super important to uh, strain your flow trawl if you're uh, trying out this uh, really watery paint technique. Anyways. So, um, hindsight is twenty twenty. I wish that I had left that blue splotch the way it was uh, right there because um, it looks really cool in the video, but obviously I didn't see it that way while I was in the moment and doing the painting, and I ended up actually covering that up a whole bunch, and, and now that it's dry, it's actually like the least, my least favorite part of um of the painting so um yeah anyways so i'm really digging the lines created by the rivers of paint um i think that's a really interesting effect and i'm gonna try and keep that going in my last layer before i stretch it I also have to do uh, the string lanes suggestions, so um, maybe I can kind of make that work for creating this more of this effect that I'm really enjoying so much. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to cover up some of the bits that I'm not super happy about, or at least create some more contrast or something. Um, I have a feeling that uh, this uh, painting, I'm really going to have to uh, varnish it at the very least um, after I'm done with it because although it looks pretty cool in the video, um, it, thinning the paint so much actually uh, made the colors really um, like a, have a matte finish. It's uh, lacking a, the usual amount of luster that I get with the spin paintings. Well, I suppose I also can't put as much um, of the pouring medium in it as well um, because, believe it or not, the pouring medium um, actually made the paint too thick. Um, the flow trawl made it too thick as well, but I had to keep the flow trawl in just to kind of uh, maintain the paint integrity. Um, you, you saw on the first layer that I did, I put way too much water in and not enough flow trawl or uh, pouring medium. And the paint actually just really fell apart. Um, so, yeah, that was a whole thought process behind that. I'm going to varnish this for sure when I'm done with it. Um, anyways, I think that's about it. Um, I'm going to buy the frame today and um, after I do the last layer then it's, uh, we're on the home stretch. So I'm pretty excited about that and um, I hope that you continue watching this crazy painting with me. Um, 
Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to hit like and make sure you've subscribed to my channel. Have a great day. Bye.